I am Dr. Pradeep Echen, Interventional Cardiologist from Mediterranean Hospital, Patam. Today, I am going to discuss about uh, acute myocardial infarction and uh, management. Uh, myocardial infarction, uh, 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 this is an important uh, disease which caused uh, major death all over the world. As uh, all of us, we know, uh, heart is an important uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 pumping chamber which helps to uh, uh, flow the, make the blood to flow throughout the uh, body. In uh, myocardial infarction, the heart has a three important uh, blood vessel. Here, one of the blood vessels is totally 100% uh, block will be seen and the uh, flow to the uh, uh, heart is uh, reduced. So, the uh, oxygen and the nutrients uh, to the heart muscles is uh, deprived and uh, the muscles will be going to die. So, what is the reason why uh, uh, the total 100% block is seen in the uh, uh, heart attack or the myocardial infarction is because there will be athero atherosclerotic plaque actually, the uh, plaque rupture will be seen. Basically, it contains the cholesterol and the platelet and uh, there will be formation of the clot inside the main blood vessel of the heart. So, what are the causes? Why do we get that block, 100% block? The main reasons are the important risk factor that is what we call the diabetes, hypertension, dyslipidemia and also in young age, especially the uh, uh, many of the patients, uh, smoking will be seen. And also, if there is a family history of uh, uh, CED, uh, especially the father uh, is having MI uh, below the age of 55, if the mother is having the cardiac MI uh, below the age of 65, the, their children, they will be more prone to get the heart disease. And also, obesity is one of the important risk factors uh, to get uh, heart disease. So, how do the patient present with uh, uh, MI, acute MI? Uh, one of the uh, foremost symptoms uh, uh, the patient has is the severe retrosternal left sided chest pain. Uh, the pain may be radiating to both the shoulders and the left arm. Sometimes the pain may radiate to the back or the jaw. Some, some, especially the diabetic patients, they may not have the classical chest pain. They may have just profuse sweating and breathlessness. This is called the silent heart attack. And sometimes some few patients, they present with epigastric burning sensation, belching sensation in the stomach or sometimes dizziness and just a profuse sweating. So how to diagnose uh, acute MI? Uh, because the patient will be in, in a severe pain, we need to diagnose uh, immediately and because to initiate the treatment, uh, three important uh, tests we have with a simple ECG, electrocardiogram, 12 lead ECG, we can uh, pick up the uh, condition that will uh, show diffuse ST elevation in the ECG. And next comes the troponin, just to confirm the uh, acute MI, the troponin will be uh, uh, definitely very much elevated. And the 2D echocardiogram, what is the importance of echo in the MI? So that will tell how is the ejection fraction pumping status of the heart. And normally the pumping of the heart will be around 60%. In a major MI, the pumping will be reduced by 15 to 20%. After detecting the MI, immediately the patient should be uh, treated uh, immediately uh, to remove the block. What is the treatment modality? Immediately, the patient should be treated with the loading medications of cardiac medicines, that is the uh, loading medications of aspirin 300, clopidogrel of 300 milligram and a high dose statins of 80 milligram we need to give and we need to connect to defibrillator so that uh, sometimes the, they are more prone for arrhythmia, sometimes ventricular tachycardia, ventricular uh, fibrillation. If such a thing happens, the patient may die in a uh, few uh, seconds to minutes. So we need to connect, if any shock happens, we need to give, means like any VT happens, we need to shock the patient. And uh, next thing we need to, uh, the important modality of treatment comes, uh, we need to, uh, the block should be removed either by the uh, primary angioplasty or by giving the injections. What are the injections we have? We have the traditional streptokinase uh, for the to, uh, th thrombolytic therapy and another is the newer uh, TPA, tissue plasminogen activator agents, TPA agents. But uh, for a good relief, for the good benefit of the patient, we can give uh, when the primary angioplasty is one of the uh, main treatment. Here the vessel is totally, uh, we are uh, opening the vessel 100% with a single strain and the flow is uh, like uh, re-established and the, finally the good results we will get. Uh, so we will be using the drug eluting stent and there is a word which we say the door to balloon time. In this, the after coming to the hospital with a severe MI, the patient should be taken to cath lab and the uh, uh, vessel to be opened within a span of 90 minutes. So, if you do that, the long term results are good. Whatever the treatment, whether the thrombolytic therapy or the uh, angioplasty with, uh, using a stent, it should be done within the immediate 90 to 120 minutes, then the results are good. So, and also uh, after the uh, angioplasty, the patient will be monitored for one or two days and later be discharged and also you know, beta blockers. This is one of the important medicines to reduce the heart rate 
and uh, to reduce the oxygen demand of the heart. Uh, then uh, the patient should be motivated after this uh, procedure, uh, especially the lifestyle modifications, the diabetes to control, strict di control of diabetes, hypertension and the cholesterol and the LDL cholesterol uh, definitely to be uh, kept under less than 70. And also we need to motivate them for walking for around 15 to 20 minutes per day and weekly 150 minutes of exercise is same as how can we prevent heart attack? So it can be done uh, by a, a strict screening of like diabetes, hypertension, dyslipidemia, any family history of CED. So any patients after the age of uh, 35 and above, so we can do uh, uh, the baseline ECG and yearly echo on TMT that we can uh, pick the cardiac disease, any major blocks in the heart is there that we can uh, pick early. And daily compulsorily uh, 30 minutes of walking uh, is a must that is good for a healthy heart and uh, we need to stop smoking and also healthy diet. We need to avoid uh, junk food, more of plant based diet and reduce animal based diet. Uh, this is the message what we want to give. Thank you one and all.